life to be reflected in the world. No one lights a lamp and then hides it and puts it under a basket. Instead, it is put on a lampstand to give light to all who enter. Look what it says. What's that next word? The room. Hmm. See, there are those of you who walked in today and you met someone who was smiling. They set the tone for the entire service for you. You were like, wow, these are pretty nice people. I think I might, might come back. Who knows? The Lord might blow another wind this way. They set the tone for the entire expected service. Well, the vice versa is true. If someone was at the door and you came up and they was like, what you doing? <laughs> you want one of these? <laughs> you sure? You going to use it? What you think? Huh? You want one of these? You sure? I don't know. You ain't worthy of one of these. I don't know about that. That would have set the tone for the entire. See, God says before you take a city, start with a room. There are people in your cubicle space. There are people in your job. There are people in your environment that God says when you enter the room, you change the entire atmosphere. You can change it for good or you can change it for bad. You have influence whether you use it for right or wrong. You are an influencer. If you don't believe me, my brothers and sisters, have Sally or uh, Sour Sally walk in the uh, cubicle space uh, on Monday. Uh, how you do? Uh, ain't, ain't no good in this morning. I don't know what you all happy about. Suddenly your spirit of joy and happiness is suffocated. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. To the point that many of you all know, you all know them. You hide from them. You run from them. You tell them good morning quickly. In fact, you say hi with your head high. <laughs> you do what they do in church. They put the finger there. Hi, hi, hi. Excuse me. The reality of it is we can change the world, but let's start by changing one room. What are the rooms in your life you need to change? Are you the person that stays in seasonal depression? I'm not de minimizing the fact that there might be some medical issues there. I'm saying, what about the joy of the Lord? Oh, you're the person that's always going through a season that says, I don't know if God could do it. I don't know if God could do it. God does it. Oh, he did it. I don't know if God could do it. I don't know if God could do it. Oh, he does it. Oh, he did it. I don't know if God. At some point, we've got to begin to affirm the fact that God is God. God is faithful. God is power. God is strong. God is mighty. God will. When we begin to influence one room, we can influence an entire world. Don't go on other days when we talk about we're here to take the city. Let's start with our own street. Let's start going across the street and talk to the neighbor across the street and say, hey, brother, hey, sister, do you know Jesus most of all? How can we serve you? Before we talk about taking the world, let's start with a city. Let's start with a city that many people have given up on, for which many of you close your eyes and you just made it here. Your car is on autopilot. But if you take a, a, a moment to take some mental pictures, there were some pictures which you did not need to see in which you said, why is it like this? Well, it's like this because you ain't said nothing about it. All that is needed for evil to succeed is for good to say nothing. We are influenced.